So can you really help your child pass GCSE maths in four weeks? It's a big promise, isn't it, by this product? Uh, but as a mum who's actually used this product, I want to sort of give you a review of the product and whether you can actually help your child to pass GCSE maths in four weeks. Uh, what's at all? So what exactly will you get with past GCSE maths in four weeks? Well, the biggest thing you get is like a sort of online manual, if you like, and it consists of 199 pages. Now, I will be quite honest with you. This takes some going through. There is a lot of information in there. So my advice would be this. If you're going to try and go through it in one big chunk, it's, it's not going to work. I mean, I was just getting fed up. So what I found best to do is to break it up into very small chunks. Work out how you're going to get through it in four weeks. So break it down into four. Then break it up into seven sec each four into seven sections. So you can do a little bit every day. And rather than just go th laboriously through this 199 pages of the manual, just make up some lessons yourself. I mean, you've got some very clever softwares out there now, like Canva, which you can use for free. Make some Canva presentations so you can actually make it fun. Get your child to make a presentation of what they've, you know, what they've learnt on there. Or you can uh, create some mind maps together or just do some record cards, whatever it is that can actually get your child to take in that information better and just practice and practice and practice it. So what else will you get with past Maths GCSE in four weeks? Well, another great thing you get is a tip of how to actually get results from 20% of your efforts rather than 80% of your efforts. And apparently this is what the, the private schools use and that's why they get so many A-star uh, results. It's a very simple tip. I mean, I won't give it away because I wouldn't be fair to Jeevan, the creator, because obviously it's his tip to share. But it's a really clever tip. And it basically, just to give you a clue, means starting at the end where you wouldn't think to start rather than at the beginning. You also get some tips on how to revise for exams. You also get tips on, and that's not just on math, that's for all maths. And you also get eight hours of Jeevan, the product's creator, actually share in a video of how he breaks down and simplifies some of the more complicated maths questions. So if you're looking for a product that can help you as a parent to help your child revise for maths GCSE and help your child, then I strongly urge you get in this product because another thing you get in there as well is shortcuts to passing GCSE maths. Now that's when my daughter took on board herself. She just took that and actually did it herself. So that was a, a one thing less for me to do. So as I say, it's basically the 199 page manual. A good side of that is, I mean, you've got one lump of information to really give you all you need to help your child pass me just a maths GCSE, especially if you're like me and I mean, maths was never my stronger point. But the bad news is you're gonna have to be very disciplined and organized. And my advice would be break it down. As I say, break it, divide it into seven, uh, sorry, four. So you know what you're gonna cover each week if you're gonna try and do it within four weeks and then cover each of those weeks then into seven days or five days, however many days you're gonna do it over. And I say then to make it a bit more interesting by, as I say, doing some Canva presentations, um, you can, as I say, do mind maps, uh, record cards, quizzes. There's so many ways then you can actually break that up and make it more interesting. So I hope that's helped and given you some insight into how you can use this product and whether you can actually help your child to pass their maths GCSE in four weeks. Um, if you've enjoyed what I've shared, please um, hit the subscribe button and press a like on this video because I'll be covering a lot more on how to make revision and to reduce anxiety in children around school and OCD. Uh, that's it for this video. See you on the next one. Bye for now.